Hi friends and families, this is Miss Sam from the Ashburn Public Library Children's Room and welcome to another family sing-along story time. Singing is one of the easiest things you can do with your littles to develop early literacy skills. Today we're going to be practicing new vocabulary by working with opposites. So bring your shaky eggs or your rhythm sticks or just your hands for clapping and we're going to sing some songs, um, do some hand motions and rhymes and read some great books using opposite words and some rhyming cadence to practice parts of speech, to develop phonological awareness, and to learn that new vocabulary. So to get ready, we're going to say our welcome song. We're going to say hello friends in American Sign Language. American Sign Language is for friends who need to see our words because they can't hear our words, so we show them our words with our hands. So have you, you got your hands out at home? Wonderful. So I'm going to teach you the words now. You might know them at home, so do them along with me. This is the word hello, just like that. Hello, this is one friend and another friend. And when they hug, this is the word friends. Great job. This is the word time. You're pointing at a watch on your wrist or just pointing at your wrist. This is the word to speak or say. You're pointing to your nose. Now you know all the words, let's sing it together. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. One more time. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say Hello. Great job. Hello, friends. Our letter of the day today is O. Do you see the letter O appearing before you on the screen here? If you do, take out your magic marker finger. We're going to trace the letter O. And you can do this in the air or you can touch your screen to do it. And we're going to start right here. O. An O is like a big circle. O. O is for the word opposite. Opposite. The word opposite should appear before you on the screen here. If you see the word, take out your magic marker finger and we're going to trace it together. Here we go. O, P, P, O, S, I, T, E. Opposite. We're gonna get started with a song that you might be familiar with. It's called Open Them, Shut Them. And this is great for the littlest of littles and also some of our bigs as well because we're gonna make some loud sounds and we're gonna go big and we're gonna go small and it's gonna be very exciting. So get your hands out for me here. Are you showing me your hands? Can you wiggle them up high? Can you wiggle down low? Can you wiggle back and forth? Can you wiggle all around and stop? Open them, shut them, open them, shut them. Give them both a clap, clap, clap. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Big them, little them. Big them, little them. Big, 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 big. Small, small, small. Big them, little them. Big them, little them. Big, 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 big. Small, small, small. Fast them, slow them. Fast them, slow them. Fast, 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 slow, 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 and fast them, slow them, fast them, slow them, fast, 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 slow, 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 oh, and open them, shut them, 
open them shut them give them both a clap 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 open them shut them open them shut them put them in your lap good job that was fun now we're going to play a call and response game so i'm going to say a word and you're going to say the opposite of it so I'll say fast, you'll say slow. Good job. And we'll go back and forth that way. I say fast, you say fast, fast. I say stop, you say, did you say go? Good job. I say stop, you say stop, stop. Great job. I say loud, you say, did you say soft or quiet? I say loud, you say loud, loud. Good job. I say up, you say, did you say down? Great job. Up, up, well done. You're really good at this game. Let's do it with one more pair of words. I say sad, you say, did you say happy or glad or excited? I say sad. You say sad, sad. Great job. You did so awesome in our opposites game. This is a book called Marta, Big and Small. And these are going to be opposite words in comparison. We're going to be comparing two things, something that's very big and very small. To Marta, the elephant is very big. To the elephant, Marta is very small. This book is by Jen Arena and it's illustrated by Angela Dominguez. This is read with permission by Roaring Brook Press. And we're gonna learn some Spanish words in here as well. Marta is una niña. She is a sweet, unique little girl. Loves animals. An ordinary girl. To a bug, Marta is grande. She is big, big, very big. That little bug is small, isn't it? To an elephant, Marta is pequeña, small, very small. To a horse, Marta is lenta, slow, very slow. A horse is very fast, isn't it? So to a horse, Marta is lenta. To a turtle, Marta is rapida. Fast, very fast. To a lion, Marta is tranquila. Quiet, very quiet. That lion is so loud with his roar. To a rabbit, Marta is rudosa. Loud, very loud. Look at that poor rabbit. To a snake, Marta is sabrosa, which means tasty, very tasty. Oh no, Marta. <gasps> Marta? Donde esta? Where are you? <gasps> Phew! Marta is ingeniosa. Clever, very clever. 
Marta is very smart. Marta is loud like El Leon, the lion, quiet like El Conejo, like the rabbit, fast like El Caballo, like the horse, slow like La Tortuga, like the turtle, big like El Elefante, like the elephant, small like El Insecto, like the bug. And clever, very clever, like una niña. Smart like a girl. And here is some more vocabulary words in Spanish. Who, what Marta is and who Marta meets. The end. Got another song that we're gonna be using our shaky eggs with just to keep the beat as we're playing along. So this is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. Do you guys get it? Let's try that one more time and we'll sing it together. This is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. This is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. Yay, good job. Up, tall, and high, but not necessarily in that order. This book is read with permission by Penguin. Up, tall, and high, Ethan Long. For mom, who I love this much. That's who this book was written for. I am tall. That bird is tall. I am tall. <gasps> Uh-oh. Is that bird taller? I am tall. And this bird does not look happy about it. <gasps> but what's this? They're looking up. <gasps> I am tall. Whoa! That bird's the tallest. <gasps> is he really? Or is he just wearing really tall shoes? Those birds know. But this little bird says, I may not be tall. Poof! <gasps> but I am not small. This bird may not be tall, but wow, look at all his feathers. I can go high. This bird can go high. I can go high, says this purple bird. I can go high, says the pink bird. And the pink bird flies all the way up. I cannot go high, says what kind of bird is that, do you think? Hmm, looks very familiar. The little blue bird asks, why? And the penguin says, because I cannot fly. Sigh. But the little bird has an idea. There, now you can fly. Ooh, yes, now I can go very high. 
Good job, little birds. I am up. He is up in a tree. You are up, says the orange bird to the blue bird. Yes, I am up, says the blue bird. And you are down. The orange bird is down, the blue bird is up. <gasps> flap, 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 flap. The orange bird flies up. Now I am up too. Both birds are up in a tree. Oops. Here we go. <gasps> Uh-oh, oh no, now they're both down. They were up, now they're down. You should have stayed down, the bluebird says. We'll help you up, says all the friendly birds. The end. I have another song for you. It's called Bread and Butter, Marmalade and Jam. It's a fun opposite song that you can play while you're driving, while you're waiting in line, while you have a moment to be together and uh, come up with different opposites that you can act while saying hello. It's really, really fun and it's very endless. You can keep adding to it, but we'll do three different pairs. You're gonna slap your hands like this on your knees and clap. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Hello. Good job. Now, what do you think I will be saying hello like next? If this time it was quiet, next time it will be... That's right. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slowly as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello. Good job. And you can keep adding and adding to your opposites and keep playing with that song. This book is called Opposites. It's a beautiful book with this classic illustrations. It's by Ingrid and Dieter Schubert. It's read with permission by Lemniscat Press. All these animals doing fun things. Opposites. Here are some illustrations for up. Here is the hippo going up. All these animals are up, walking a wire, up, 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 and down. Here's some animals falling down. Oh, looks like there's, a, there's an animal that's down here. And they're all looking down. Here are some illustrations for big, big animals. Giraffe is pretty big, isn't he? The hippo's pretty big. There's also small. What animals are small in this picture? Can you point them out? Can you say what animals are small? Maybe the fish is small compared to the panda who's big. Maybe the mouse is small compared to the hippo who's big.
Next, we have illustrations for wet and dry. What makes all of these animals wet? Is it the rain? What animal is the happiest about the rain? Do you see an animal who's happy about the rain? I think this raccoon looks very happy for it to be raining. And next we have dry. Oh no, there's a fish who's awfully dry and wishes that he was in water. But this porcupine is definitely helping the fish out, bringing the fish into the water. Or maybe that's a hedgehog. This hedgehog is helping. Oh, they're just kicking back and having a good time in that dry weather. Next, we have hide and seek. Have you played the game hide and seek? Sometimes you'll be the one who counts and seeks your friends who have hidden. And sometimes you get to be the one to hide. Now, what animals are hiding? Can you shout out the names of any animals who are hiding that you can find? Ooh, I found one. He looks like all of the other orangey red plants. Oh, do you see a foxtail? Maybe foxes are hiding. Then we have illustrations for cold and hot. Cold and hot. So on the cold side, we have snow. Snow is awfully cold. And we get snow in winter seasons when it's really cold outside. And then we also have hot. Hot during the summer. Hot during very, very hot seasons. We are sweating. Next, we have brave versus scared. And it's okay to be both. A lot of people can be brave about things and scared about things, and that's okay. Look at all these brave animals facing their fears of jumping, of dark places. And here are some brave animals, brave animals and scared animals running away. Oh, this elephant is scared of that mouse. Isn't that silly? Then we have naughty and nice. Naughty animals doing naughty things. And we also have nice animals doing nice things. We have alone. This one animal on his own, this panda, alone. And then we have the word together. Alone and together. Lots of animals. We have happy and we have sad. Sometimes we feel happy, sometimes we feel sad. So the happy animals are dancing and playing and the sad animals, can you tell that they're sad? They've got some frowns. Then we have normal. Hmm, all the animals on the land looking up at this silly bird flying upside down and then we have crazy. And I think by the word crazy, we mean silly. Silly and fun. It's great to be silly. Then we have a fight. Some of these animals are fighting. They disagree, they're arguing, they're tumbling around. Sometimes we fight with our brothers or sisters, but then we make up and we become friends again, and we forgive each other. Then we have asleep. 
here are all these asleep animals. Well, some animals are asleep. Some are awake, the opposite of asleep. And these animals are awake. Some nocturnal animals that like to stay awake at night while the other animals are asleep. And here are all these silly illustrations. Opposites. I'd like to encourage you to check out any of these books about opposites at your local library, Randolph County Public Library System uh, at Ashburn Public Library. Most of our libraries have curbside pickup. You can give us a call at 336-318-6804 and we will pick out books for you. If you say that your child or your family really enjoys books about animals or about ballerinas or about ninjas or about um, really anything under the sun, anything that you like, we'll find books for you. We'll bundle them together, check them out to your account and schedule a time for you to pick them up for curbside pickup. We're gonna sing our silly phonological awareness song about the sounds that animals make and the sounds that they actually make. Let's see if you can remember the verses. We add a new one every family sing along story time. If you're interested in letting us know a different animal that we can add to the song, please comment down below in our YouTube or our Facebook video, and we'll definitely add that animal next time to our phonological awareness song. Here we go. Mm ah went the little green frog one day. Mm ah went the little green frog. Mm ah went the little green frog one day. And they all went mm mm ah. But we know frogs go sha na 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 sha na 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 sha na 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 but we know frogs go sha na 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 they don't go mm mm ah bloop bloop went the little blue fish one day bloop bloop went the little blue fish bloop bloop went the little blue fish one day and they all went bloop 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 but we know fish go kissy, kissy, kiss, kissy, kissy, kiss, kissy, kissy, kiss. But we know fish go kissy, kissy, kiss. They don't go bloop, bloop, bloop. Slow, slow went the little green turtle one day. Slow, slow went the little green turtle. Slow, slow went the little green turtle one day, and they all went slow, slow, slow. But we know turtles go cowabunga dude, cowabunga dude, cowabunga dude. But we know turtles go cowabunga dude, they don't go slow, slow, slow. Grr, grr, went the big black bear one day. Grr, grr, went the big black bear. Grr, grr, went the big black bear one day. And they all went grr, grr, grr. But we know bears go huggy, huggy, hug. Huggy, huggy, hug. Huggy, huggy, hug. But we know bears go Huggy, huggy, hug, they don't go grr, grr, grr. S -s -s went the little pink snake one day. S -s -s went the little pink snake. S -s -s went the little pink snake one day. And they all went s -s -s -s. But we know snakes go shimmy, shimmy, shake. Shimmy, shimmy, shake, shimmy, shimmy, shake, but we know snakes go. Shimmy, shimmy, shake, they don't go. S -s -s -s. Hoot, hoot, went the little brown owl one day. Hoot, hoot, went the little brown owl. Hoot, hoot, went the little brown owl one day. And they all went hoot, hoot, hoot. But we know owls go. La di da di da, la di da di da, la di da di da, but we know owls go. 
la dee da dee da they don't go hoot hoot hoot. Jump, jump, went the little red squirrel one day. Jump, jump, went the little red squirrel. Jump, jump, went the little red squirrel one day. And they all went jump, jump, jump. But we know squirrels go rubby dubby dub, rubby dubby dub, rubby dubby dub. But we know squirrels go rubby dubby dub. They don't go jump, jump. Jump. New animal, we're going to be doing starfish. So splay your hands out and your fingers like this and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. But we know starfish go wavy, wavy, wave. Here we go. Wiggle, wiggle, went the little starfish one day. Wiggle, wiggle, went the little starfish. Wiggle, wiggle, went the little starfish one day. And they all went wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. But we know starfish go wavy, wavy, wave, wavy, wavy, wave, wavy, wavy, wave. But we know starfish go wavy, wavy, wave. They don't go wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Awesome. Thank you so much. I hope you had a blast with our opposite sing-along story time today. And we'll see you every other Tuesday at 10 a.m. Have a great week.